Well, thank, thanks, Pierce. No, I, I did want to come back because I, I think the politicization of what's happened in Benghazi deserves an answer. First of all, as, as the mayor well knows, after 9-11, Democrats did not politicize this tragedy. Not the first day, the first hour, not the first week, not the first month. But with respect to Benghazi, I think we're all going to have to wait until the full investigation's done and the information comes out. There's been a lot of fragmentary reporting. Now, I just want to say, as from my own experience inside the national security system, when I read the fragmentary reporting, I get an entirely different picture than what Mayor Giuliani's portrayed here. What I get is a very responsive chain of command that deployed military assets from Europe down to Sicily. They were ready to go. They deployed a drone overhead, diverted it from another location. They had all kinds of backup plans. The truth was the assault on the, on the annex itself was over before anybody could have responded with anything other than maybe a ballistic missile. And, uh, and the uh, people were then evacuated to another annex where the battle was also over until four mortar rounds landed and killed our two people on the roof. Okay, let me... Now, at uh, that General, point... I'll have to, I'll have to none in. of that... Now, none there of that... Plenty of assets. Now, I, I, look, let I have to go to another interview, but Rudy, none of that answers... Well, let, 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 let me say, none of that, General, answers the question. Did the President of the United States know about the two prior attacks on that consulate, one that drilled a hole in the wall of 12 feet wide? And if he didn't know about it, why didn't he know about it? And if he did know about it, why wasn't our ambassador given more security? The president was trying to paint a picture in Libya of success. We weren't having success in Libya, and he, he fell asleep at the switch for months, not just that day, but for months before there were warnings. The British pulled out. The Red Cross pulled out. There were numerous attacks, and the president of the United States didn't increase security. There were even some reports that he reduced security. And the president hasn't answered that question, and it's intolerable that we will have this election and the president will get away with not answering, did he know about the prior attacks? Thank no, you very much. I, I don't think it is intolerable. I, don't, I think it's essential.